Anin Buju, band members, today is Monday, February 13th. No new cases of positive COVID-19 for the reservation. So that's always good news. And that's been a couple of weeks now that we haven't had any new positives. So District 1, including District 2A, we are at 414. District 2, 66. District 3, 90. And again, uh, Health and Human Services still has the COVID-19 home test kits available. If you are interested in that, you may pick that up at the main clinic. University of Minnesota Duluth has a program starting called Native Americans into Medicine, and it is a seven-week summer enrichment program for college sophomores, juniors, and seniors in those interested in pursuing health careers. And the University of Minnesota is now accepting applications for summer 2023. The dates of the program are June 20th through August 4th. The 2023 NAM program is a two summer cohort. Program instructors include a broad range of Native American faculty, health professionals, traditional elders, and medical students. And if you are accepted into the program, you will earn a stipend for living expenses. And also campus housing is available for those traveling from outside the Duluth region. And it's C-A-I-M-H at D.U-M-N.E-D-U for additional information. And as always, the information is on the Facebook. There is information regarding the District 1 and District 2 representatives, and it looks like District 1 Representative Virgil Wynn will be at the Urban Office on Thursday, February 23rd from 1 to 4.30 p.m. So if you're interested in talking to the District 1 rep, please call Darla Roach, 320-362-0793 to schedule a time. District 2 Representative Wendy Merle will be holding District 2 community meetings at Isle February 15th at 5.30 p.m. And then East Lake Thursday, February 16th at 5.30. Representative Merle will also be at the Urban Office on Thursday, February 23rd. And if you're interested, contact her person, who is Cheryl, at 320-630-6870. There are four questions on the Natural Resources Facebook page, and these deal with wild rice. There are some questions regarding the proposed 2023 Farm Bill, and this will be the first legislation introduced in Congress to legally classify manumen as a specialty crop. This classification would make Manuman eligible for most United States Department of Agriculture specialty crop programs that provide block grants and funding for crop producers. Under the Act, tribal governments are ineligible for status as a wild rice producer. Only individual tribal producers may apply through the state to become a wild rice producer and receive associated block grants and supports. This unfairly benefits non-tribal producers due to the ineligibility of tribal governments to administer the specialty crop block grant program with respect to Manuman. So if you go on the DNR page and there is a space where you can comment on each picture with your answer if you so choose. So the information will be on the Facebook to look at this and ask for your participation. Last week, um, I was on an exciting adventure. I had the opportunity to travel internationally with Corporate Commissioner Joe Nekwanebi and his team on a business trip that was focused on gaming at the international level. I was able to experience how Joe's team handled these potential business opportunity at this very high level and was extremely impressed. 
He has a very detailed research and data-oriented staff. Joe's staff put a lot of time and energy into being the best that they can be on our behalf. Through Muckwell Global, the band has begun doing business at the international level, and there are many, many exciting opportunities to explore. And talking to the staff, and one of our band members had made the recommendation that we look at arranging a trip for our youth to go international, to expand their horizons and experience a different culture and could help them prepare for them to become future leaders. So that's something that I was really excited about. And I just want to give a shout out to Joe Naquinabe's team. They are very excellent in everything they do. And I just want to say miigwech to them for assisting me on this trip. And I had a great time. With that, I'd like to say good day, and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.